Hey guys, I appreciate the feedback I've been getting on my giveaway video. Uh, lots of great comments. Some of y'all have asked about the equipment and things of that nature. Uh, it's really wet here today. We had a really soaking rain yesterday. I uh, can't catch a break in the weather. Every time it starts to dry up a little bit, it, it gets soaking wet again. What I have done, uh, I moved some bees this morning while it was still chilly that I needed to uh, bring over here to my shop. And I've got my truck ready for tomorrow. <clears throat> I can't keep waiting on a break in the weather. So what I'm going to do is just hit what yards I can. Uh, if it's too muddy or too wet, I think I might get stuck. Or if I think I'll rut up my farmer's roads, then I just won't hit that yard. Um, I try to stay in my farmer's good graces. They don't like you rutting up the roads because uh, when they dry out, they get hard and they'll bust your guts out driving down them. This old gumbo we have here. So what I've done here is get my truck ready for tomorrow. I have four frame nucleus boxes for my resource hives that need room. I have uh, several deeps for my growing colonies. These deep boxes are mostly full of comb. Some of these are dead outs, but most of these are uh, honey frames, deep honey frames for my resource colonies. I put those on and they fill them full of honey and I have to extract them. I don't put them back on because I don't like extracting deep frames and also I give them foundation back because that's the whole purpose of them is to crank me out more deep combs for the next year. I have some feed still and my feed pump gas can buckets keep from making a mess some of these won't need fed most of these may not need fed but uh we'll see hopefully they've consumed some of the honey last time that i was out feeding i didn't have to feed near as much as i thought i would because they had a lot of winter stores left um, i need them to consume that though this time of year i need them to be able to expand that brood nest out so ones that haven't and have a lot of honey still left in or too much honey for my liking, I'll take that honey and put them in these deep boxes and take them with me for later use. And I'll give them empty combs back. Um, ones that are growing really well will get a full deep box on them. I'll put a little foundation in the center, drone combs on the ones that need it and allow those colonies to, to grow as much as they want to. This helps me when I'm splitting. Uh, always keep a bucket of water. I know that sounds simple, but I keep a little half a bucket of water or three quarters, whatever it is, to uh, rinse my hands off because you get real sticky feeding bees and moving stuff around, and I don't like tracking that sticky with me. Also, uh, it's just handy to, to rinse things off with. So I'm going to try to put out a lot of content for y'all, good quality content, what you're asking for, um, and information. So this is what's going on here for me in West Tennessee right now. It's early March. My colonies are growing. And if I don't give them room to expand, then they will swarm on me. Um, so... As long as I give them room and I open up that brood nest and allow that queen to, to keep on going, keep trucking on, then I'll be good until it's time for me to split. Uh, also, I want to encourage my colonies to grow as much as they can before it's time for me to split. That way I have more brood frames to build splits from and cell builders. So that's why it's important for me to move these honey frames around, open up the brood nest, give empty combs, uh, give room, and kind of just manage for swarm prevention and for my splits. Uh, also, as they're brooding up this time of year, you got to keep an eye on them. Not all yards are the same. And it's the time of year where bees can starve to death really easy. All right, guys, today... I'm out here at Witten Farms, and it's March. What day of March is it, Furnace? 
It's March 10th. So uh, we're a little behind doing this because the roads are so wet, the fields are wet. This is one of the better access yards. So what I'm going to be doing is looking for my stronger colonies that need a deep. And then anytime that I give a deep or a box, I, I feed them. Of course, you know, when there's not a flow on it, it helps them jump and be able to repair and work on those combs. And I think we'll start with this resource hive. So I prefer flat tops. Uh, it's more difficult to do on these resource hives. And the reason being anything, insects or what have you, they like to come up here. Furniture might want to step away from the front of that. To the side over this way. We'll get them some smoke. Uh, because with inner covers, things like to share the, the warmth of the colony. We're going to take the smoke to front furnace. Down this way. Thank you, sir. So, checking the uh, the stores. All right, thank you, sir. If you'll step over that way for me, furnace. Thank you. Looks like this particular side is pretty dry. It also looks like we got a failed queen. If you'll excuse me, furnace. Whoa, watch out there, bud. All right, guys, there's the queen. Not a very, very good one. You see this spotty shotgun pattern brood? It's all drone, so it's no good. So the first step in taking care of this problem is the queen. So that's that. Yes, sir. I'll let you know. Right now, these combs are of better use to me somewhere else. These are empty. This colony has pittered away to nothing. I will leave this empty. Excuse me, furnace. So you can't see probably very well there, but I had screen, so I just closed off the entrance so they can't get back in there. And I'll be shutting that off. Now furnace, you care to take these over to the weeds and shake them, 
check the bees off. You can bring them back. Now it does cause a little bit of a stir with the bees returning. They can't get back in. But they will beg in to another colony. Their queen is dead. She wasn't any good to start with. These bees are old. There's no point in trying to requeen these or, or fix that in some way. Now this colony, I can tell right away, it's healthy. We have, we have a good situation going on here. Yeah, set them right there for me first. Thank you. So we've got these all stirred up. I'm confident that this colony is great. And yes, it is. Let me show you guys how this looks. Got a good brood pattern. Lots of open brood. Lots of pollen. A little nectar. They're looking, looking very good. Got a good little bit of drone brood starting. So this one's going to get a box and <clears throat> it, uh, it's not terribly heavy. So what I'll do is, uh, there's going to be a lot of confusion here. Anyway, what I'm going to do is give this, this colony a box of empties that I took from the box beside of it. And I'm going to get a feeder and put it in there so that I can feed it as well. I like frame feeders. If you're concerned about drowning, you can just put your little stick in there. Uh, the ones that stay in my deep boxes, they get filled with comb, uh, and I have no problem with that. I don't like the cap and ladder system. I feel like um, you get small hive beetle problems with those. Anywhere that you give in the hive a place for beetles to go that bees cannot get to, you're going to have problems. So that's why I like to not have the caps on the feeder so they can uh, fully access and the bees can do their job with the beetles. I'm going to cover this one back up. But I'm going to leave the lid off because when we feed, we're going to go back and feed that. Leave these combs here for now. Let's take a look at this one beside of it. Got lots of dandelion, lots of hen bit blooming. This hive, it's not super heavy, but that there's a little weight there. I'm gonna pull this outside frame, see what it looks like. Looks like they've been making their way through their stores pretty good. But they're, uh, there's a fair amount of honey. 
still left in here. So, this is a frame of open brood. We have the queen right here. This is the frame she's laying on. It's uh, honey on the back. So what we're going to do is place this back in here. They got a little more honey than I want them to have. So we're going to take this honey frame. We're going to set it out and we're going to give them this empty comb. Lots of brood. So, a frame of brood like this, when this emerges, this is going to be, shoot, at least two frames worth of bees. Now, these are Russian bees, so you're going to see, you're going to see a lot of little queen cups like this. They're dry. That's just part of it. Uh, I'm seeing some drone, uh, drone brood in here, but. So far, I'm not seeing any drones crawling. And that is, that is information that I really need. So, we open that up for her. We're going to give it a deep. So my deeps, they go the same way as what's uh, below them. It'd be eight, eight combs and a and a feeder. And I'll feed out of the top. It's a little bit chilly, so we're going to be feeding after we make our. Uh, make our adjustments you see all these bees this is because I closed off that entrance and it's what's left over from this nuke but as I said these are going to beg in it may take a little bit of time but they're going to go out and they're going to beg in to the neighboring hives in some way so this is a way that I don't completely lose those bees um, as I stated, they're, they're older bees, and it really just wasn't worth it to me to try to correct the situation, give them brood or what have you. They had a, a drone-laying queen in there. She had failed, um, and that's that's the best option that I can come up with uh, the way I like to manage. Like I said, it does make a bit of a chaotic situation because of the bees flying everywhere but these are looking looking really good so let me check the weight first this one's a little bit lighter but there's a lot more bees in this one Seeing lots of pollen, guys. Uh, a lot of different colors. Looks like a lot of maple pollen in there. Good brood. Lots of open brood. A little bit of drone. Again, I'm not seeing, not seeing drones crawling. So. Looks healthy. Lots of eggs. 
Queen very well may be on this frame. If she's not on this one, she's on the one beside of it. Because there's a lot of eggs and a lot of open brood. But my goal isn't to find her. It's just to assess the health and how much room they need. Well, give me a little smoke right there, Furnace. Right in the crack where I'm going to put the frame back in. Just make a move a little bit because I don't want to uh, roll the queen when I put the frame back in. They look great and they're going to get it deep. For video purposes, it's um a little more difficult. I can't uh, I can't have that feed pump fired up because you wouldn't be able to hear me. It's really noisy. But I'm going to take you around the truck and just show you real quick. Uh, so you see, we're assessing and deeps were needed. This is my feed pump, my syrup. So we're going to end this video, guys. Uh, continue on with the process here and get this done. Uh, get this feed pump fired up and roll through this one. If you have any comments for me, let me know. And I appreciate you watching. And I'll catch you around.